What's good, everybody? Welcome back to um, my channel, um, Cloud Slayer Fifty Three. If you don't know, hit that like and subscribe button, especially if you enjoyed it. If not, hit that dislike. Tell me why. Who knows? Um, but this is going to be my second podcast, uh, my number two podcast, which is already up on Spotify. Um, feel free to check that out if you like Spotify. Um, it's they're not very long right now, but I do plan on having some guests and maybe have, having some longer discussions. But if it's just me, I'm gonna try to keep them uh, short and sweet. Um, probably just go over sports and maybe some predictions on like UFC fights and stuff like that coming up. I do love the UFC and I'll probably throw on some um, scores for like NFL or something like that. But yeah, I do. I do have, I am talking to a few people to have some more. So hopefully uh, have interviewees in one of these days. That'd be fucking awesome. So, um, but I I don't didn't have any footage, so I did have to use some of my gameplay from Call of Duty. <laughs> it is terrible, so um, if you don't like it, you know, hey man, my bad. I, I'll try to get better, but it's for my stream, anyways. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good night. Peace. Yo, welcome back to the podcast, Travis's podcast. That is, aka Cloud Slayer Fifty Three. If you don't know me on YouTube or even on uh, Twitch, twitch.tv slash cloudslayer53. Slayer Please check me out. Give me a follow. Subscribe. I do appreciate those. Help help the channel grow. Um, I hope everybody's doing well on this fine day and or night, depending on when you listen. Who knows? I, I know I, I listen during the night, so I'm a night owl. have to be for work and stuff like that. Um, well, anyways, I, I do want to go through... Uh, this past weekend, there was a fight between Jake Paul and Anderson Silva. Oh, man, it was pretty close, but um, Jake Paul came out with the win, beating Anderson Silva, Anderson the Spider Silva, uh, older man, 47, but he still has some hands. I mean, he'd probably kick my ass, that's for sure. Not probably. He would kick my ass, especially in boxing, you know, <laughs> but who who the hell am I? I ain't nobody but some couch potato, right? But... Regardless, I mean, he put up a fight. He didn't get knocked out. He got knocked down, but he wasn't. You can't discredit that man for that. Um, Jake Paul, you know, he's a young, much younger man. Should have had the endurance, but it was a step up uh, in competition for him in that fight as well. So, um, yeah, without, I don't know. I, he, he gets a lot of slack for that, but, I mean, he did a good job. Anderson Silva was willing to go in there and, uh, fight with him toe to toe so you can't really say much about that right so um and then the minnesota vikings are doing great oh man go vikings hometown squad right there um they, they won their last game against cardinals 34 to 26 moving up to six and one man looking good looking good um well well i haven't really kept up with football too much if i'm being honest but I do like to check out the scores or the highlights sometimes. It's not like when I was when I was a kid, you know, um, where I was like balls deep in sports, basketball, football, various things like that. Um, but hey, can't always uh, keep up on those things. Life life gets you going, right? You gotta grab it by the balls and squeeze them, right? Uh, I don't know if that's the right analogy, but we're gonna go with it. <laughs> Just kidding. But. Um, it, it's tough. I, we had a loss of my, my grandmother this, uh, past weekend here. So we had, uh, we had to have a fire out there. I mean, this is, uh, last night I got it, uh, st all stacked up, had it all cut nice and neat. Um, but it's, it's for her journey during the nighttime and the daytime, especially when it's like cold, well, weather times. I mean, it's not too bad right now in Minnesota, but some parts of the, uh, us it probably is or the world if if anything right so i mean it's it's just part of our native tradition to burn a fire but you know out of respect for those she, uh she was a very hard working woman i i try to adapt a lot of the her mindset in how i you know try to do everything but hell if i'm even half as great as she was or you know hard working as she was i'd I'll be plenty happy with that. I, uh, you know, you meet people that, that they never seem to have an off button. And that was my grandma. You know, I uh, hope you rest in peace, grandma. I, 
you know, her services will be on Monday. So, um, that's, that's, it's sad, but you know, life goes on. Um, and she, she lived a wonderful life. We're not going to be, not going to be too sad about it. We're sitting with family, um, reminiscing, you know, talking about what we remember and what she said to us and, you know, gathering that together and having a grand old time. There's, you know, no better way to remember those that pass on before us, you know, but then to have a laugh and the BS about it instead of, you know, just being sad the whole time because they, they don't want that, you know, in, in our culture, if you're sad, if you cry, especially around like their body, you know, it, it makes that journey harder for them. But, you know, everybody has their own beliefs. Um, I mean, me, my, myself personally, I don't. Who knows if there's another place after this, you know? I don't know. I'm not going to say for sure, but that's the way I was brought up. And I don't discredit anything anybody else says. From, like, a religious standpoint, I don't force my own religious beliefs on anybody else. And, I, I you know, I, I appreciate that nobody really has neither except for, you know, like, one or two people. But they, you know, got kind of got to tell them off or you got to give them your own perspective on it, you know, so. And then they, they, they'll understand. They're human beings as well, you know. They're, they just want to try to look out for those that they care about. And sometimes it can be pushing, like, religion or something like that. But, you know, it, I, I get it. And so does everybody else, right? So, but, you know, just because you don't believe in that uh, that person's religion or, you know, somebody doesn't believe in your religion doesn't mean that they don't believe in a religion at all, so. It's, you know, it's not just all heathen beliefs out there, you know, so, um, well, shoot, but, you know, let's go on from that, um, uh, she's in a better place, and she was, you know, all, will always be remembered as that hard-working woman that, you know, I, I personally looked up to and my sisters have seen, you know. So I hope that helps them go further in their lives. So absolutely. Um, we do got some basketball scores here too. So let's see here. It looks like the Mavericks beat the Jazz. One oh, oh, it was a close one, 103 to 100. And the Mavericks moved 4-3, to three, Jazz 6-3. Um, Raft, Raptors put a smackdown on the Spurs, 143 to 100. Holy Toledo's. Um, Raptors move from to five and three, Spurs five to three as well. So, and then the Bucks are still undefeated. They beat the Pistons one sixteen to ninety one. Holy buckets! Still undefeated. The Rockets lose to the Clippers one hundred nine to one hundred one. Um, Clippers four four now. Rockets one and eight. Hornets they lose to the Bulls one hundred six to to eighty eight, or I should say eighty eight to one hundred six, since I brought out the Hornets, but. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> um, Bulls are now five and four. Hornets are now three and five. Hawks, one twelve over the Knicks, um, ninety nine. So one twelve to ninety nine. Hawks five and three now. Knicks three and four. Um, we have the Heat beating the Kings one ten to one oh seven. Heat are now four and five. Kings are now two and five. Um. Cavs beat the Celtics in a oof, it looks like a battle. Oh man, Cavs are six and one. Celtics are now four and three, but one fourteen to one thirteen must have been a no butter. It looks like it went to overtime. So, oh man, one point that sucks, but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Wizards beat the Seventy Sixers one twenty one to one eleven. Wizards are now four and four. Seventy Sixers are four and five, and then it looks like. The Lakers are beating the Pelicans right now. Oh, they might get their second win. Um, I know Russell Westbrook and LeBron James have been getting some um, negative comments out there. You know, like I know LeBron for a while because of how he is politically and how he conducts himself in that manner. Like, you know, in in the way of supporting China, you know, or not, you know, it, what was it? He wasn't with the protesters, but he's for protesting for BLM and stuff like that. Uh, talking about, like, equal rights and stuff like that. Um, I do respect LeBron James very much as a basketball player. I've, 
I've grown up watching this dude, you know, but um, I'm not going to speak on his political viewpoints because, you know, I I don't know how it is. He's, he, if he does support, like, uh, the Chinese people, he should probably come out and say it or something like that. But who knows? Maybe he doesn't. Who, who cares? I'm not going to force anything on him. But, you know, the media is going to go after him regardless. So. Then we had the Grizzlies. They're beating the Trailblazers right now, 87-72. So, oh, man. Is that Pelicans? They got um, Zion Williamson. Ain't he back? I have no idea. I haven't really watched. I know he's usually hurt or something like that. But, you know, he was a phenom in high school. I remember watching that dude. And in Duke, too. Oh, man. He's... He's a big guy. I'd be scared to get in front of that dude. That dude fucking punch me, um, knock me over, just back me down. <laughs> so, yeah, oh well. But, you know, I, I grew up a lot on watching, like, Michael Jordan and stuff, too. So, Michael Jordan, I watched a lot of hardwood classics and various things like that. But, you know, as I got older, I just, you know, lost time for it. Start, you know, getting more into video games and various things like that um i do i do like playing video games a lot like call of duty world of warcraft or something something of, along that those lines but i have also been a little bit busy raising my son as well you know me and my uh fiance um he's he's a bright little bugger you know he can he can be a little uh a little stinker but you know who isn't at three years old so <laughs> we got to be the ones that teach him and Lead them on into the future, you know. Try to be, fill the shoes of those that were in front of us that taught us the value of, like, hard work and stuff like that, you know. And maybe even improvise on it and, you know, obviously improvise and put our own touch onto it. So, um, trying try my best in that that regard. I, I'm sure anybody that's a parent that's listening, they, they understand 100%. So, it's easier to, easier said than done, you know. You, I remember being a kid thinking like, oh, man, I, I wouldn't do this if I was a parent. But then you become a parent. And you're like, Psh. I was tacking out of my asshole, you know. <laughs> I didn't know what the heck I was talking about. But, hey, man, it's grass is always greener on the other side. And, you know, it's, like I said, easier said than done. So can't criticize anybody, if, especially if they're trying their best. So, um Toodles to the, everybody that's a parent out there. I mean, sh- it's freaking tough. I don't, I don't care what anybody says. So, um, then that's, I don't know. I, I do. I, I'm my next episode. I, I'm going to have a special guest on. Um, I won't say who exactly right now, but I do plan on it. I have been talking to, um, them here prior. And uh, we want to go into, you know, some of his life, you know, um, some of the battles he had, where he grew up at, and, you know, just everyday life that makes us human, you know. We've got to touch on it and, you know, talk about the battles that we face, um, not only in our lives, but on a daily basis, you know. Uh, talking is always the best therapy I suppose, right? Especially amongst friends. So, um, really good friend of mine. So, I I don't want to guarantee a date, but uh, I I am talking with him, and a lot of, with a lot of this other stuff going on. I I wasn't I I hadn't been able to make a podcast. I do apologize, um, not only to the fans but to myself because you know I'm trying to become better and um, grind more and be more consistent with this this stuff i know i just started episode two so but you know sometimes life gets you and you got to battle through it you got to get get past it so um we're gonna try to do that now so if anybody else is going through a hard time um my heart goes out to you um keep your head up you're a strong individual um you know if nobody's told you this but um in a while you're great so pat yourself on the back And, you know, pull up your big boy pants or big girl pants, whichever it is. And we'll see you at work.
not necessarily at my job, but you know what I mean. They'll see you at work. Um, and yeah, heck yeah. I, I hope you do well. So, um, but I, I think that's going to conclude this. I'll just keep them short and beautiful. Try to save, save a longer podcast for when I talk with, with my friends and stuff like that. But it was just a quick touch up or, you know, so, um, as always, I do appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, have, have a good night. Peace.